Hey y'all, my name is Tyson, and today let's have a look at the Native Well Tool. Actually, let's go a step further. Let's look at the Native Well Tool and some tips on using that functionality uh, effectively. And then let's contrast it with one of the Weld extensions out there just so that you get an idea of like some of the extra functionality that exists in the extensions. And you can decide what might work better in your workflow. All right, the native weld functionality was introduced just in a recent version of SketchUp. And it's really useful for re-welding something like this. So we brought in some contour edges, but they're just a bunch of tiny segments. Well, we could triple click to select all of the segments connected and right click and say weld edges. And now it takes and welds those all into a single curve entity. We don't have to do that to each one of these though. We can select all of these pieces, right click and say weld edges. And now they've all been welded into much more useful single curve entities. Let's look at a few other examples, but before we do, I'm going to select a few lines so that I have my context flyout menu and then go up to SketchUp, Preferences, and I want to set, or you may want to set, a keyboard shortcut for the default weld functionality. And I've set mine to Shift W. I have a few other options here because of some extensions. But the default is what I've set a keyboard shortcut for. All right, let's come down here. I'm going to select this circle, use the follow me tool to create a bowl. Now the native follow me tool is going to break all of these into various segments. And we might want to come back in and weld these. Well, rather than trying to select all of these various pieces, a really quick way to use weld is just to double click on this surface, selects the surface and its bounding edges, and then I'll hit my keyboard shortcut. And sure enough, it welded those set of bounding edges. I could do this again, double click, even add to my selection, double click here, and then again, hit my keyboard shortcut and weld those. Well, you may very clearly think immediately, why not just select the entire bowl object, right? Why wouldn't we do that? And then use your keyboard shortcut or say weld. Well, the reason is it doesn't seem to work. In fact, it broke the welds we had just created. I'm not sure why, but selecting all of an object and trying to weld all of the various edges as one does not seem to work with the native tool. However, here's a quick workaround. I only need to select, say, the top half of this bowl, so not everything. I'll hit my keyboard shortcut to weld, and it welded all of that selection. And then I'll just grab the bottom half, weld it, and it welded that as well. So it's a really quick workaround. You can't select it all at once, but you can basically do two or three selections and get to the same results. Let's do that again. Say I select and use follow me to create maybe this cool old looking uh, brass telescope. But again, it's broken up into a bunch of little segments. Well, I can't select it all as we just saw. The well tool doesn't want to work, but I could do something like Grab this half, weld it, which again, right click or go to the keyboard shortcut, and then grab this half and use my keyboard shortcut and weld it. And sure enough, it should have and did weld this. Now, all of these have been welded into curve entities. Keep that in mind, because now we're going to contrast that with Christina Inneroth's auto weld which is an extension uh, that you can find in the extension warehouse. But I want to be clear, I'm not suggesting you need to go get it. It is a paid plugin. 
So keep that in mind. There's native functionality that will work, but let's have a look at what this does. I'm going to use the follow me command. So we've created a similar telescope. Again, it's broken up. If I triple click, I can actually run the auto weld extension. And it is going to weld all of this together, whereas the native one, we had to do it in two steps. However, you'll notice right away that I'm having to do a little bit of thinking. It takes, for this example, 10 or 15 seconds. Many examples don't take but a second. In this case, something about this makes it want to think a little more, and I think it's the number of potential circles here. What we're going to see in just a moment is that Christina's tool actually tries to weld these entities back into circles, whereas the native tool welds them back into curves. So there we go, it finished. If I select this, let me see, make sure nothing's selected. There we go. It got stuck on something, but uh, you can see now these are circles and the advantage of circles is that if I copy this away, I could change the number of segments in it and I can find the center point of a circle. Whereas curves, which are created by the native weld function, I cannot change the number of segments or find the center. So that may not matter to you. You may be able to do just fine, but if that's something that you're interested in, you might want to look at that uh, auto weld extension. One more example. So if I select and then use follow me to create, say, this shape, I'm going to grab all of this, use the auto weld extension. And it worked very quickly in that case. And you can see it did weld these. And here, this inside one, it made a curve, but these outside are actually converted back into arcs. So the auto weld extension will try to convert back into arcs and circles where possible. And that may be something really useful to you. It also will auto, it will try to auto weld uh, immediately after you've used follow me. That's a setting you can turn on. So just some additional functionality that might be useful. Again, not trying to say you need to go get it because it is a paid plugin and this is not um, meant to be an endorsement of it. But in the mode of transparency, I just wanted to show what some of the differences are. So there you have it. I hope that was helpful. Uh, as you can see, or I hope it's clear that you don't need an extension. The native weld function is really useful and uh, definitely create a keyboard shortcut for it so you can just quickly grab a number of entities, weld them up. But if you wanna push it a little bit further, you know that you can. I hope again, uh, let us know, you know what you wanna see or if that was useful, if you have a different approach, whatever it is, let us know in the comments and let us know what you'd like to see next. Let us know what tips uh, or workarounds we could explore that might be useful to you because we want to make this useful for you. Please uh, do subscribe. Hit that like if you so like. And we'll see you next time.